welcome back, welcome back. So, today we got the homie James. What's up? Going back at it again, guys. So we're gonna be installing our K-Tune shifter box and cables. We got the race spec cables. We have the, uh, I believe this is the version one shifter box. This is the old school one. And this is a shifter plate that goes underneath that so that way you can bolt it onto the EK. And we also have the little grommet that goes through the firewall. I don't know if I'm gonna be running this. We'll try to figure out where we're gonna run the shifter cables through. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. And also I wanted to show you guys the rear end. So here we got the rear end, guys. There's a couple things that I'm missing. I ordered the e-brake cable. I got the bolts coming so I could bolt up the rear brakes. I got the rotors and brakes coming so we can get everything situated. Once I get all that, we'll start another video and get everything back here all done. But for today, we're gonna be installing the shifter box and we're gonna get right into it, guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is trying to put on the, the base plate for the shifter. And as you can see, it doesn't entirely fit yet because this bracket's kind of blocking it from going all as far back as it needs to. So first thing we're gonna do is take this bracket off and we'll probably end up notching it once we fit this plate so we can still have this bracket and keep this plastic piece secured, be able to screw that back down in, keep as much of the trim as we can. So first thing is take this off. Just kind of mocking it up, making sure it fits right. You still have to drill those two holes, and I'm not going to drill them through this. I'm going to take it back off to drill the holes, but I'm just going to mock it up. Make sure both screw in, and they do. And now we can stick a sharpie down through there and mark where we're going to drill our holes so it lines up perfect. No, I got better something better than the Sharpie. You're gonna take that little fake ass punch that we got. And you're, gonna fight, you're gonna pop it twice. Yeah. All right, so this is our little punch. We got a, you know, a little, a little Phillips. I'm just gonna stick that on down in there. Try to get it in the center. If I can stop being so shaky. And we're gonna try not to hit everything. Oh, there's probably a good dent there at the very least to drill through. I was hoping it would go through. Yeah, there's a nice little star mark down there. Star X. It's definitely not a star. Alright, let's take this thing off. You practically drilled two holes, bro. <laughs> it almost went through all the way. So now we're just gonna get a drill bit and we'll drill this out. The biggest your drill bit is, is a quarter. Hold that right there, homie. Let me see that. Them shits is still way too small. All right. So we're gonna have to find a bigger drill bit. All right, we did find a drill bit. He, he dug is, one uh, up out of somewhere. Five sixteenths. Let's see what happens. It seems like it was the exact right size. Well, let's see. Perfect. So, if you all are wondering, it's a 5 16th hole that you want to drill. So make sure your drill bit set that you buy to do this has a 5 16th drill bit in it. Because this one, <laughs> as you can clearly see, no 5 16th. This shit won't focus. You get the idea. All right guys, if you guys look, there's two longer bolts 
than the rest of the pack. So those two longer bolts go in the front here. So we've got all the bolts on. Just gonna tighten this up real quick. All right guys, so we got our shifter plate on and now we're gonna throw on our shifter box. Oh, we gotta pull this guy out. And this goes right there and they also give you these little washers that go in there Guys, when I uh, once I get everything bolted down um, real good, I'm gonna go ahead and probably put a little bit of Loctite on all these bolts so that it doesn't come off. But as of right now, guys, we got a shifter box installed. What we gotta do now is we gotta drill out through the bottom of the car so that way we can run our shifter cables through. So we're gonna drill out three holes so that way we can uh, run the cables through and we can put the shifter plate on. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is take a grinder and clean this area up a little bit. All right guys, so the plan that we are trying to do here is to run the K-Tune little, this goes through your firewall, but what we're trying to do is see how we can run it here where we made our cutout. So, I'm gonna put that there and drill up the holes and see if we can mock that up. All right guys, so we got our, our little bracket on and we got the cable, so we're about to snake them through where they need to go. And bear with me because I'm using one hand. Hey, no, no, you, yeah, you pull the cables. Pull it? Yeah, you pull them. Keep going. All right, right there, you good right there.
All right, let me put some bolts for this uh, rubber grommet. All right, so hold on guys, I can't, I can't record and do this at the same time. Give me one second. All right guys, so we got our plate on and we bolted it down and then we took a hammer and kind of beat it from the bottom a little bit and gave it a little angle. So that way the cables weren't kind of kinked or anything like that. So that is installed and now that's next is just to put the cables on the shifter box. So go ahead and knock that out real fast. Slide that on. And then this side. And I'm going to fix the little grommet from the bottom of the car. And I'll show you guys how that came out as well. And let me just put the bolts on for these guys here. All right, so we're gonna run this in the middle. All right, so we got that one on, and now we gotta get this one on. This one has a little nut that goes on this side as well. All right, so that's connected. All right, so all we have to do is just connect the transmission. All right, so we got that on. All right, and for this one here, this has a little washer, and that goes on there first, and then we have the cable through here. So we got our shifter cables on. We're just gonna put these little pins here. All right. So that's how the shifter cables came out. Right through the sway bar. And I'll show you guys underneath how it looks. Let me just curl underneath real fast. So, there's their cutout, and it goes right above the sway bar. And that should give us plenty of rooms for our drive shafts to still go through. And yeah, guys, we installed their shifter box. So I'm just gonna fix that grommet a little bit and then we'll be straight. All right guys, so we are done. We got the shifter box, we got the cables and we got the little bracket installed as well. So I just wanted to show you guys, we're gonna shift some gears real fast, make sure all we got all our gears. So one, two, three, four, five, and then reverse. Woohoo! Five speed, son. Let's do it. All right. So, yeah, guys, we are done. We're going to wrap this video up. I appreciate all you guys for watching. Stay tuned. 
You guys are the real MVP, man.